Plownia, Maza Hapa, Hapak Lakota. My name is Lyle Iron Moccasin. I'm an enrolled member of the Cheyenne River Lakota Nation. I'm one of the uh, recruiters for American Indian OIC. American Indian OIC is a post secondary adult education training facility. I've been involved in these kind of activities and events for a number of decades. And I'm always impressed how well everybody appreciates what we do and the turnout. I'm somewhat uh, dismayed at the fact that individuals are so surprised that we are able to get these events taking place, these cultural activities take place, and people appreciate them. Uh, initially, when individuals uh, get involved in these kind of activities, they're somewhat uh, reluctant or comprehend. Uh, they're not really that enthused over the whole idea. But once the event is over with, and they see what happens, and they see what how the turnout is, and how well it was uh, received by the individuals who participated in it, their minds are completely turned around. Their thoughts are completely reversed from when they first initially uh, participated in it, and it's nice to see that. It's uh, unfortunate that they have to think like that at the beginning, but you know this is how change happens, and people become more aware of other cultures, not just our native culture, but the other cultures that we deal with. The similarities between native culture and the Asian cultures and the uh, African cultures are, are uh, you know, there's a lot of similarities within how we function. When uh, facilities or the academy uh, actually participate in issues that go outside the educational boundaries and start reaching outside their comfort zones, you'll find that you'll start uh, seeing a much broader base of participation. Well, this initiative has more than just a, uh, a relationship to it. It has a spiritual uh, aspect to it. It goes beyond the uh, academic environment that the school provides. It goes beyond the student services that are provided. It goes beyond the, um, the reach that normal people have. And that initiative demonstrates to other cultures that if this is being participated within this culture, then they're going to be open to mine and to other cultures. And not just the cultures, but other ways of living, other lifestyles, other uh, philosophies. It's a it's a open and welcoming environment. Just from the the small amount of time that you're spending doing this makes a vast difference within the Indian community. The Indian community is an oral community, so we talk, and we talk a lot, and these things are spread around and uh, very well understood, and they are seriously appreciated. Whenever I talk with individuals in the community, particularly in the academic environments, or individuals who are interested in going on to higher education. Uh, North Hampton Col Community College is always mentioned in there. Uh, it's one of the uh, talking points that we have. Uh, those of us who deliver services to high schools and uh, those adults who are looking for uh, uh, another venue in order to go to school. You know, the school I work for is a, a transitional system where we take individuals and we uh, get them ready for higher education. Not everyone can just jump into a uh, two-year or four-year environment that easily. And particularly if you've been an adult and been out of the system for an extended period of time, we offer a system that gives you an opportunity to see what it's like. And then if you have the desire to go on to higher education, we can put you into a number of different locations. And North Hennepin is one of the one of those locations we use on a regular basis. North Hennepin has a very diverse population to it, which I enjoy being around.